Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. So today I wanted to share a little bit of PlayStation 5 news, especially in regards to the Flow Zero. So back over here on November the 7th, 2021, the Flow Zero, or Andy, which is a known hardware exploit hacker, actually he does this for a living as, as a security researcher, disclosed this screenshot right here, which obviously has debug settings, which we are used to on the PlayStation 4. Now, this debug settings here obviously allows you to create package files and install them just like you were doing over on the PlayStation 4. So this is a substantial accomplishment in order to be able to get to the debug settings on a PlayStation 5. Now, we know that this came from the PlayStation itself. So this was using the PlayStation 5 share, again, coming or originating from the PlayStation network. And again, there was this tweet here which says, no plans for disclosure, no ETA. So here we were in November the 7th, 2021, to fast forward to where we're at today, which is in June 2022. There was this tweet that came out from hardware.io, and they said that Andy, or the Flow Zero, will be sharing his discovery, which cannot be disclosed right here. It says, make your way to the Hardware I.O. USA conference and find out about this mysterious talk. So here is the conference, and this is a hardware security training and conference that is currently being held. And Andy works full-time as an information security engineer at Google. So this is coming up on the 9th and the 10th. And if you scroll down into this, you will see, obviously, a couple of folks are hinting very much at this being some news that's related to the PlayStation 5. If we look at what Andy responded with, it he responded with this little emoji right here. So face with open eyes and hands over the mouth. So again, a kind of a nod to this potentially being something with the PlayStation 5. Now, with the Flow Zero compared to a bunch of the other security researchers, the Flow Zero has already had multiple different disclosures that he has revealed. And also other kind of just little tips that he's given to the scene, you know. So this is uh, relating to an IPv6 uh, bug and tip leverage with another bug. And you can obviously go through his Twitter account and you can see that for the most part, he seems to be someone that's obviously interested in just the security of PlayStation consoles, but also once he gets the bounty, is very open to the full disclosures, which we then use the disclosures and that information in order to exploit our consoles. So looking right over here to the schedule for hardware.io, we can see that on the conference day two, which is the 10th of June, that Andy has a talk right here, and it's just called Talk by Andy. So there isn't any sort of title, which all of the other ones have titles that's in here. So could this be the PlayStation 5 news that we're all looking for? I hope so. If we go to the talk here, and we'll just open that into a brand new tab, all it simply has here is, is that his working that he's been doing with the PlayStation consoles, you know, since 16 year old, since he was 16 years old, and jailbreaks for the Vita, and multiple kernel vulnerabilities for the PlayStation 4, and then free BSD. And so the main thing to keep in mind is, is that on the 10th of June at 11.15 is when this talk will happen. This does not appear, or at least this week, I haven't seen any sort of live streams. 
But if you head over to their YouTube channel here, there is a possibility that they will post the talk over here on their YouTube channel. Now, it will be very interesting to see if they post it, uh, because if they do, obviously, that will be a video that we will all want to watch and to pay special attention to. So anyways, just a little bit of news in the PlayStation 5 scene, especially something that I'm really looking forward to. Keep in mind that if you have a PlayStation 5, you want to keep that on 4.03 or lower. So don't upgrade to any of the newer versions of the PlayStation 5 system software. I've currently got one at 3.20 and another one at 4.03. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Michael, out!